students will be back in school tomorrow after a bus driver shortage forced the district, along with several private schools in the city, to cancel class today. And News 8's Maggie Wedlake takes us, or tells us, that is, about the plan now in place to prevent this from happening again. It's part of our COVID in the Schools coverage tonight. These Davenport school buses sat empty for one day longer than anticipated. There were really no other options. Students were scheduled to return to the classroom from winter break today, but a bus driver shortage unexpectedly extended their vacation. It's very difficult to cover a bus route because of the requirements they have for their licensure. The district contracts their buses and drivers from Durham School Services. Davenport School District was already down 10 drivers, and today 14% of staff called in sick on top of that. Our, our student safety is always number one. Superintendent TJ Schneckloth saying cold weather and the potential of longer pickup routes also weighed in on the decision. The, the late notice this morning and the number of COVID-related illnesses this morning um, were the cause uh, we were not able to reroute the students this morning safely. Durham releasing a statement today saying in part, the safety of our passengers and our employees is our number one priority, and we want to ensure that, especially in these cold winter months, we arrive on time to our scheduled stops. Today, we did not feel this could be accomplished. The district is fully prepared to cover all routes tomorrow. We've worked very diligently today to put together a plan um, to maximize every available person that we have inside of our district. We are utilizing uh, even pe people from the office um, to, to go out on routes. On top of that, more Durham drivers from other locations will be coming to town to help fill the district's 79 bus routes. Any family that is going to have their transportation altered, whether it be a different route, has been already been contacted or will be contacted very soon. Pulling all their resources to get these kids back in the classroom. In Davenport, Maggie Wedlake, WQAD News 8. And the Davenport superintendent says due to Iowa state laws, a virtual learning day was not an option for students today.